So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. The wife here helping you to master your technology. I'm a little bit under the weather today, but we're going to talk about the one year later experience with the iPhone 13. Now I have the green, which she didn't like. She said it's too dark and I have the pink one that I love so much and yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it's the, the almost pink. What oh, kind of pink? It's pink when I put it down on the white. Like any, if I see it on it any. It matches videos, our nails a little bit. It matches my pinkness all the time. I'm always wearing pink. I guess, but anyway, <laughs> we're gonna give you the experience here. Overall, the price point of these two phones, right here, do come in right around six ninety nine right now at the Apple stores. You could actually find these two, uh, used for like six hundred, six fifty, around the price of a twelve Pro Max, like in my last video. But we're going to begin by talking about the overall build. So since you've been using this phone since basically it came out, what do you think about the overall lightness, the weight, the size, the color, and the sides of the phone? Just the overall look and feel the build. I want to start with the build. Okay, so the build is really nice. I think it's a very classy phone to have. Um, I love that it's the most girliest iPhone so far that I've seen um, besides the Coral 10R. So this has been my favorite because it is a light pink. At first I was complaining because I was like, where is the pink? But I noticed that it's just very, very faint, very, very light. When you put it down on other surfaces or compare it to other iPhones, you do see the color difference here. It is a pink. Um, also, I love that the sides are aluminum right here. So this is really nice. I think that's a really good touch having these classic iPhone if sides. If you notice those sides, they don't really get dirty. Oh, I didn't know that. They stay pretty clean most of the time. Oh, I like you that. You can see it closely. I get a lot of fingerprints in, yeah. uh, all over the back. Oh, well, me too. I kind of, I, I think you could see it right here on the Apple logo right there. Thank you for cleaning that. Um, so also these little lines, these remind me of the iPhone 5S. I don't know. And I love that the buttons, I don't know. I think I feel like, didn't they used to have something right here on the buttons that it used to have like a little... Yeah, they used to have the plus sign yeah. back on the uh, iPhone 4S. Yeah, they took that off. They were circular. And then also, like, they took off the iPhone script that was right here. Like, it said iPhone. It had a printer right here. But they took it off. And I think that they made this lower. Didn't they lower this, too? Yeah, they lowered it a little bit. Now, the iPhone um, 14 is a little bit... It's basically the same phone as this one. Mm -hmm. But the camera's got a little bit bigger. Yeah. And okay. It's just overall, it's pretty similar. So, if you had this, you don't really have to do that upgrade if you don't want to right i mean the build and um, like you were saying like the build is really nice but also the size i love that it's really really light for me um i think i had the iphone 11 pro and it was very heavy and i would be holding it you know one-handed use was really hurting my thumb and my wrist right here when i was holding it all right we're gonna move on to display okay. um they did make the notch a little bit less long in mm -hmm. this edition mm -hmm. and uh, unlock the phone okay um we're we're talking Super Retina XDR OLED here and 800 nits of brightness. So what do you think about the brightness? Was it easy to read outdoors? Day to day, does the brightness work for you outdoors? Um, yes, it works for me outdoors. I love how bright it is also. It's not too bright. I know compared to my MacBook that I have, my MacBook really hurts my eyes if I have it on the highest brightness. So I love that they dimmed it down for the phones. I mean um correct me if i'm wrong but i really really love this a lot and what about the overall saturation the oh. colors like oh all their iphones weren't as um vivid as these look at that i i didn't notice that no i love how vivid it is and i love that um it has like really interesting colors for um the classic apps that we use that are very colorful anyway and when you take pictures on the phone look at that look at how nice that is that same lambo i use in every video <laughs> i love that brings out the brightness and the colorful saturation in every photo as well so Oh, let me see. Oh, I like so that. So very vivid overall. Just do you think it's smooth enough, though? These don't have the 120 hertz. Do you notice that or is it no. not really noticeable? I feel like I don't notice that until you show me or when I watch your videos and I'm like seeing you fly through like this, like it really, really fast. Um, or when you go like this, like that, you know, that I say, so, oh, OK, that's a thing he's talking about. But over your Animation. year, have you ever thought, oh, I need to upgrade because I need to get the 120 hertz? No. No, 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 no. I think this goes fast enough for me. If you're somebody who works and um, just needs to check your phone very so often, like every so often, the and you're not really on your phone all day at work, and you won't really notice the speed being slow or fast, to be honest. All right. So we're going to move on now to the software. Ooh. iOS has been updated numerous times over the years. Mm -hmm. 
We do now have the all-new lock screens, which is oh. basically the big deal here. Oh, I like that. What do you think oh my gosh. of those? Because she was like, oh. when I was running the beta, she was like, I can't wait to get it. You always get the beta yeah. first. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I was so I jealous. want those lock screens. I was like, how did they do so that? So talk about those lock screens. <laughs> okay, to be honest with you. What when do you think of these? I love you that lock, you can unlock the phone. Oh, let me unlock it with my face. You got to no, you gotta oh. go here. Wait, how do I do that? So you go like cool. that. Oh, beautiful. Um, you got this one with the emojis or the emojis. Yeah, that's put. me and her, by that's the way. That's us. <laughs> Before we got married, I put this one. Uh, as soon as they came out, released the official iOS for the phones, for everyone, for the general public, because I had to wait. And then this one is just a colorful one that has my favorite color pink with a photo of us from our wedding. And this one as well. The overall software. I love that. Oh, my gosh. But not going to lie to you, I do remember when... I had a Samsung phone, the lilac one. I did used to do the personalization on on that phone as well. But I feel like that's a, a so nice the real touch question I want to know is 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 a software getting boring to you? Do you still enjoy it, or do you want to like? Do you think you would ever switch to an Android phone? Okay, honestly, I wouldn't go back to an android phone unless it was like the highest samsung or the newest pixel but but that's aside like i would like to use a google pixel for work if it's makes what keeps easy. you on the iphone 13 <gasps> okay honestly okay let me tell you this because i i don't know i feel like i'm not the only one the bubbles when you're texting people in the blue bubbles and you could see when they're typing so that is my favorite also the fact that i message i, I message yeah i message um the emojis too and then they put the emojis on the apple watch and then also you can like answer the phone on your watch and talk on your watch or vice versa like and you can ping your phone you know you could ping your phone to find your phone you need you could ping from the watch so as far as software is i do really really like that they gave us the ios updates with the changing of the lock screen changing of the wallpaper personalization i think that was a nice touch and i she wouldn't doesn't have really to notice go. much of the features because right. <laughs> you know she's not that techie not that techie but i but really like it <laughs> app library remains we do have oh yeah improved lock screens we do have a lot of new little things behind the scenes that most people don't really pay attention to. Like you could take picture, you could take subjects out of pictures and move them over to messages. Oh, yeah. Really easily. I like that. You can undo replies in messages. I think also the widgets keeps me on the iOS as well. The fact that you can personalize the widget sizes. But yeah, I feel like every year iOS is just not changing a drastic amount. So switching gears to performance. Have you noticed this phone ever be slow? Um, sometimes it's slow. I think it depends on if I have a lot of pages open, a lot of apps open at the same time, that's when I'm waiting for my 5G to go faster. I don't tend to agree with the Apple A15 Bionic chip. Four gigs of RAM. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I've never had a single lag on the iPhone 13. But if she has, then I guess she has. It but does certain times. Maybe she's talking about the RAM, the four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the newer iPhones have six gigs. That could be playing into why she said that. But personally, I haven't seen it. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Have you ran into any lag on the iPhone 13 yourself? Down below in the comments. But performance overall, pretty good. Day to day, of course, still 60 hertz. But it'll do. Now, we're going to talk about the cameras. Because the cameras is basically one of the main things everybody goes to the Apple store. They pick up the phone. That's the first thing they open. How's the camera? How's it uh, been for you? I think the camera for me has been very, very swell. I love the camera on here. Um, I love the zoom on here. I love that I can edit the filters and put some like color saturation and edit my photo in the camera app. Those are my favorite. So while I'm showing them a couple photos, grab some photo samples you want to show them. Okay. From your gallery. All right. She's going to show you some stuff she took. Okay. For me, I'm going to show you this plant. You see that Rubik's Cube back there? You can see... Just the overall color saturation. Here we go. Things are great. Boom. She's gonna show you a Starbucks Booyah. cup now. My favorite. Free, free uh promotion for this brand. <laughs> but I'm gonna zoom away from their logo. No, but look at the color came out. Look like, at the detail. Look at how look at the color. It has a lot of brilliance on this photo. No more to speak of. Grab another photo while I grab one as well. Okay. Looking at the iPhone Alpine Green 13 Pro Max box. You can <laughs> see. Okay, I have one. Not bad overall. I have one. This is a beautiful photo. So this was from the wedding. Yeah. You can see. Look at the look colors. At the flowers. The sharpness. The Mr. and Mrs. Ackerman. Look at that sharpness right you see, there. See, overall, just a beautiful 
Love it. Photo. So see the details. Look it. The the name of the game is that the cameras on the front and the rear are literally probably similar to the quality of this one right here. So you're not gonna really be disappointed whatsoever when it comes to the experience using these cameras. You're gonna love them. That means it's high quality. Yeah, what she said. One year later with the sound, audio that comes out of the phone when you're listening to music. What did you experience? Super loud, very helpful when I'm doing dishes. I love putting music and or just in general when I'm trying to put people on speakerphone. So um, usually, okay, so when I'm driving, I put connect the Bluetooth to the car and then I'll answer it on the phone sometimes because I don't like how loud it is in the car and it sounds really loud. I love it. And also, like even if you wet the speakers on accident, it still comes through really clearly if you just let it give it a while to dry up. Yeah, so these things, they get pretty loud. They're nothing like the Pro Max or the iPhone Pro series, but the audio performance is good enough. Okay. Nobody's going to be annoyed with how these sound yeah. no and i think you guys would like everybody will really like it if you use those music apps as well when you use youtube music and you use spotify or you just have any music on at all on your phone that you've downloaded and you play it it's gonna sound really loud like it's gonna be like a party on your phone all right another big one for someone who doesn't have access to a charger most of their day how has your battery life been for oh. me the 100 percent capacity on here is probably not realistic if you're using the phone every day, mm -hmm. this is not my main iPhone. Battery health and charging. Mine is at a 93 capacity. I am the queen of draining my battery. So yeah, she's the one who <laughs> will drain it all the way down to zero and fully cycle it every time. Okay, the low. Uh, I had an iPhone before, and the lowest um, battery capacity I've ever had was an 89. So um, I'm not that good with my charging habits, honestly. But this phone still lasts me all day at work. Yeah, so even at 93, it's still getting through the day. I have to say battery life is pretty good we yeah. do have 32 ish hundred batteries in here 32 40 mm -hmm. milliamp hours that's actually pretty big compared to five six years ago on smartphones oh yeah it's not as big as the newer um android phones that are huge or the newer large iphones but overall very good performance in the battery life for what you're getting for what you're paying it was a nice upgrade over iphone 12 which sucked pretty good battery life here and um, I think it's pretty good, too, compared to my iPhone 11 Pro that I had. That was the one I think I drained the battery on. That was the one that was 89%. Uh, but this one is really good, and I love it. Also, I did have the Mini. Do you remember which one I had the Mini? Do you remember? The it, iPhone 12 Mini. The iPhone 12 Mini, and I really didn't like the battery life, that it wouldn't last me all day at work for me personally, and also my heavy usage. But this one, the iPhone 13, on the other hand, amazing amazing all right now we're gonna before we wrap up the conclusion we're just gonna talk about the cell strength i found this to have great cell strength never really dropping calls mm -hmm. never really saying where's my signal that doesn't happen often on the 13 due to qualcomm modems on board and 5g how was your experience oh uh, call quality is really good i never had a drop call either i will only have one call failed but that was because the other person's phone they were going through a tunnel when they were talking to me so yeah, this is just an area we don't need to go on and on about. It does the job. Yeah. The iPhone 13 was never the highest end iPhone out there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel that way, but it feels like premium, like a really good premium option. I love this one. I would not trade it, honestly, for the iPhone 14. I'll tell you why. Because I'm a super hardcore fan of the color pink. And this is the first time they made an iPhone, an Apple iPhone pink in a long time. So I literally was so ecstatic when they came out with this one. Um, I do like the colors that they had. I'm not going to lie. I do like the colors that they had and the dynamic island, of course. But for me personally, I was not going to trade because I'm a hardcore pink fangirl. So in conclusion, iPhone 13, one year later, I would definitely recommend it. It's still for sale at Apple today. You can still get the pink one. You can still get the mini. You can still get the green. What I'm trying to say is that this phone is definitely recommended if you want to save some money over the iPhone 14, which is going to cost you 100, 150 more for this same phone, basically. So mm -hmm. would you recommend somebody pick this one up this year or would you say get the iPhone 14 or the 14 Pro? 
What okay. do you think? My honest advice would be if you are someone who really loves photography and you love the new camera design that they have for the iPhone 14, go for it. Otherwise, if you have a favorite color that came out with the iPhone 13 series and you, you want to stick to that favorite color, I would say do that because that's what I'm doing. So that's going to wrap it up. If you guys have an iPhone 13, you had one, you plan on getting one. Let us know what you think down below. Or did you just go to the 14? I mean, at this price, if you only got $100 more, you could just go to the 14. But again, like she said, if there's a specific color you want, these are nearly the same phones, and we've had pretty good experiences here. Yeah, I really like it. On them. I love it. I love it. I wouldn't trade it. Although, I, again, if you want to go all out, you want the, the top newest. of the line, get mm -hmm. the pro models. Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Oh, also, I would say, too, if you really want to get an iPhone 14 and you want to go for it, pick the colors that are like brand new to the line as well. That's what that's my advice. Yeah, if you're into that. But long term, mm -hmm. if you want to keep, uh, you want a more neutral color because you don't want your phone to look like last year's model, mm -hmm. then get silver, get white, get those, you know, simple neutral colors. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I know you guys said you love when the wife joins, so maybe she'll be joining in. A few, you want to join in a few more yes, videos? Yes, I love. You, you know what? Thank you guys for supporting the channel. Um, everybody who's new, subscribing, everybody who's been here uh, along the road with Nick. Um, I appreciate you guys. He appreciates you guys, and we really love you guys. We thank you for your support, always from the heart. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Be sure to be well and peace. peace. I'm gonna try not to be raspy in the next video. <laughs> Bear with me. Later. <laughs>